Hello everybody, this is the notes for section 3.4, Advanced Geometry. Um, what we're talking about today is slopes of lines, how to find them, what to do with them, what uh, parallel perpendicular slopes are all about. So, uh, this should be very familiar to you from Algebra 1, finding the slope of a line. Uh, the slope, uh, it says, of a non-vertical line. So we, that's kind of weird because we can talk about slope of a vertical line, sort of. Um, just describes how steep a line is. We use the lowercase m to represent the slope. Proper definition, or at least most common definition, is rise over run. How much are you going up compared to how much you're going over? So, if you think about the coordinate plane, the rise going up or down, that's the y values. So we're looking at the difference in the y values. The run, which is the denominator of slope, is how much you're going horizontally, left or right. That's the difference in the x values. And so that gives us this equation. Now, the order doesn't really matter. You can do y1 minus y2 as long as you divide that by x1 minus x2. Okay, that order doesn't matter, but you've got to be consistent with which coordinate you use first. Either the second coordinate first or the first coordinate first. Just got to be consistent. All right, um, so negative slope. As you read the graph, okay, just like when you read words, you look from the uh, left side, move over to the right side. If those y values are going down as you read left to right, that's a negative slope. If the y values are going up as you look at the graph from uh, left to right, that's going to be a positive slope. If, as you're reading the graph from left to right, and the graph does not go up or down, that is a slope of zero. Okay? There is no rise. It's not going up or down. So if you think about rise over run, your slope is zero over, and then however much it you're moving left or right. Zero divided by a number is zero. So what this is, is a horizontal line. It has a slope of zero. Vertical lines, there's a whole bunch of rise, but the run left or right for a vertical line, there is no running. That's, it's just straight up or down. So then you'd have it over zero. Okay. A number, a fraction, when you divide it by zero, you can't do that. So vertical lines, it's an undefined slope. It's not a number, it's not anything, it's just undefined slope. Okay? You, you cannot divide by zero. That number does not exist. All right, so to find the slope, um, looking at, let's look at the one on the left here first. You've got your line. This point is at negative 3, negative 2. This point up here is at 4, 3. So you could do the coordinate rule, difference in the y's divided by difference in x's. But I prefer to form right triangles. To go from a y value of, or sorry, uh, for the horizontal part, we're going uh, from an x value of negative 3 to an x value of 4. That's 7. To go from a y value of 2 to a um, y value of 3, you are going up. 5. So the slope, rise over run. We are rising 5, running 7. There's our slope. All right, back to the example on the left here. Find the slope. So difference in the y values, negative 4 minus 3 fourths over difference in the x values. I chose negative 4 first, so I got to pick the x coordinate of 3 to go first minus a negative 7. So when you subtract a negative, that's going to make that plus. So what we have is over 10. Negative 4 minus 3 fourths. That is a negative 4 and 3 fourths. That's not a really good number here. Um, so what we're going to do is change that to a proper fraction. Negative 4 and 3 fourths is a negative 19 fourths. We are dividing that by 10. When you have a fraction divided by a number, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to change this dividing by 10 to multiplying by 1 tenth. And so what we have is a negative 19 over 40. There is our slope. All right. Um, so some key things. Slopes of parallel lines. Um, 
is equal. If you have parallel lines, they have the same slope. They are going in the same direction. So the slopes are equal to each other. Now, vertical lines don't have a slope. The slope is undefined. But if you have two vertical lines, those are going to be parallel to each other also. Now, the slopes of perpendicular lines. Obviously, they're not going to be the same because if they're the same, they're parallel. Perpendicular lines intersect. So there is a special property of the slopes of perpendicular lines. Now, every book I've ever, every math book I've ever read through talking about slope, which is actually a lot of books, uh, I hate to say that, I read those kind of things, um, it's always defined this way. The product of the two slopes of perpendicular lines is negative one. That's what, <coughs> excuse me, that's what that's saying right there. You take the slope of the blue line, multiply it by the slope of that red line, if the lines are perpendicular, you're going to get negative 1. I've never liked that definition. I prefer this one. The slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. So what that means is, in this last problem, we had a slope of negative 19 fortieths. So if we have the slope equal to a negative 19 fortieths, the slope of the line perpendicular to that one it's going to be the opposite reciprocal. So opposite just means change the sign. So our slope was negative. It's now going to be positive. The reciprocal, you flip that fraction over. So it's going to be 40 over 19. Those two slopes are of perpendicular lines because the slopes are opposite reciprocals. And if you did multiply those two slopes together, you would be getting negative 1. I just prefer to say opposite reciprocals. All right. The next example, the question is asking, determine if the lines are parallel or perpendicular to each other. So for parallel, we're looking for equal slopes. For perpendicular, we're looking for opposite reciprocals. So we're just going to find the slope of each line. So the slope of line 1, difference in the y values. We're going from 4 to 0. And then we're going uh, for the x values, we're going from 7 to 1. So that is 6, which is a simplified 2 thirds. The slope for line 2, uh, difference in the y values, 6 minus 0 is 6 over 3 minus 7 is a negative 4, so that is a negative 3 halves when you simplify that. These are opposite reciprocals, so line 1 is perpendicular to, this is bad notation, but you get the idea, line 1 is perpendicular to line 2, okay, because the slopes are opposite reciprocals. Looking at this next example, same idea. Slope of line 1. Uh, we got 3 minus 1 for the y values over negative 1 minus 4. So we're looking at 2 over negative 5. Slope of line 2. We're going to have negative 1 minus a negative 3, so that becomes plus 3 over negative 2 minus 3. So we had 2 over a negative 5, that's equal slopes, so then these two lines are parallel to each other. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. I want you to take a look at this problem, see if you can solve it. It is asking for the value of k, so that the line going through these first two points here and here will be parallel to the line through these two points. You got to figure out the value of k that makes these two lines parallel to each other. So give it a shot. We'll talk about it first thing in class. Have a great night.